What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have for you an unboxing slash on foot review of the Yeezy Foam Runners and I'm going to get this wrong, Okra or Okra. I cannot say it right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I have for you today. So I'm going to talk about sizing, pricing, and my overall thoughts on the shoe. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have for you today the Yeezy Foam Runners in Orcra. I think I pronounced that right this time. <laughs> but it'll come in a brown box. No Adidas branding or Yeezy branding whatsoever on the outer side of the box. Comes just like this. And this tag is probably the only thing that you'll see on the outside of the box. But as you open it, you'll see that it has some branding, the foam, and then runner is along the backside here. I'm abbreviated and I'll show you once we take everything out. Um, and it comes wrapped in the brown paper. And then here they are, the foam runners. And I'll give you a 360 view. So I went ahead and went with StockX um, because they are a trusted source and this is not sponsored by StockX whatsoever, but shout out to StockX. But I wanted to get it from there because they're a trusted source and I didn't want to go to eBay or OfferUp or uh, Facebook Marketplace and get duped. Um, that's just me personally. I like to enjoy the actual shoe and uh, the quality of a shoe. So that's why I went with Stock X. So I'm going to give you a 360 view. It'll come with the Stock X verified um, button or um, tag to show that it's been authenticated and it is a real easy foam runner and then you'll have your um, tag on the inside there and you'll also have your sizing right here along the shoe right on the inside there near the foot insert it is a foam runner and your size us and then made in usa i don't know if you can see that guys so yeah you have sizing right there and then i also said that um I said there was no branding on the box, um, but on the actual shoe, there was no like in your face logo. Um, they do have the Adidas branding on the bottom of the shoe, um, which is different, um, you know, but most people know it's a foam runner. So I just think that's that speaks volume when you just see something so unique and just know what it is. And as for pricing, I got they were two hundred and four, either two hundred and four dollars or two hundred eight dollars. Um, you know, on StockX it goes up and down with pricing because they try to um, kind of it's kind of market value, so it goes up and up and down just as if a stock market would. So you get the actual value of the shoe. Um, so I got these for two hundred four or two hundred eight dollars. Um, after taxes and fees and shipping costs, it came out to about two hundred sixty four dollars. Um, and some change um, for the Yeezy Foam Runner. So not too bad. Um, they, the actual, when it actually came out, I believe it was, what, $80 for um, the Foam Runner. But you know, the resale market and the hype and everything. So that's why you are, that's why the prices are um, what they are now. Um, so that's the actual value of the shoe now. As for comfort for these shoes, they are extremely comfortable. They're pretty much... Uh, I don't forgot the name. I got these and forgot the name of the other one. They're like a better Croc. So Crocs, yeah, it's just like the front part, um, the ones I wear. Um, but this one is just like an all around like shoe Croc. And um, it's just really comfortable. Um, and I can see myself wearing these a lot um, to the grocery store, um, to work on like the, the uh, dress down days or, you know, just kind of chilling in the crib. Um, so comfortable comfortability i'll give these like a 10 out of 10 and finally about sizing um i would go true to size in these um and i was kind of confusing myself um before i bought it because so basically my actual foot is a 10 but all my shoes any shoe that i have is either a nine or a nine and a half so i was kind of confusing myself before i ordered it i was i tried i went to the store and i tried on a nine um, cause they don't run in half sizes. Um, so I tried on the nine. I was like, they're so tight. So I guess I order a size up, but that's not the case because my actual foot is a 10. So it's true to size. I had to think about it. Um, that most of my shoes, you know, depending on how the shoe is cut. That's why most of my shoes are like 
less than a 10 um, because when I actually try like a 10 on and like a shell toe or any other shoe, a 10 is too big. So that's why I was confusing myself. So these actually run true to size. So I recommend getting true to size. And if you're in between sizes, that's the tricky part. I can't speak on that um, because I'm an actual like even number. Um, but I would say go a half a size up. If you're like a seven and a half or eight and a half, whatever, I would say go half a size up because you wouldn't want to be too tight, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I would say half a size up. So that's pretty much it on the foam runners that I have for you today. Um, and let me go ahead and take both of them out of the box. And I said I was going to show you how it says runner on the inside back, back side of the box. You can see there it says runner abbreviated. Um, and my overall thought on the shoe before we get into the on foot and closing is that these definitely grew on me. Um, it took me a while to purchase because two years ago, my friend King Heflo, he posted a picture with them on and I was like, man, those shoes ugly, yay, tripping. They look like laundry basket shoes. I never wear them, they ugly. And here I am two, year, two years later, well, how Spongebob be like two years later. So um, two years later, here I am with the shoes. Um, they're definitely comfortable. I would recommend these if you're gonna be in chill mode. You know, they're definitely a shoe to have in your collection. Um, you know, if you're gonna be like on a laid back kind of day, you know. Um, so yeah, they definitely grew on me and I love them. Um, I haven't worn them yet, but I plan on wearing them out tomorrow. So I wanted to do this whole video before I actually wore them out. Um, but let's go ahead and get on, get into the on footing. And I wanna thank you all for tuning in again.